Good, 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 good morning. Waking up at 5 a.m. is hard. Trust me, I've been there. You're tired, unmotivated, and hitting that snooze button is a whole lot easier. For most of us, we can only do it when we're forced to. For an appointment, for school, or for work. But millions of people want to get up early, and time and time again, they try and they fail. Well today, I'm gonna reveal these six steps that will help you get up early, even if you failed in the past. The last one is my favorite. The secret is that it's not about when you wake up, but the time you actually go to bed. It's gonna be a whole lot harder to wake up at 5 a.m. if you stayed up until midnight binge watching shows on Netflix. So here's what you do. Shift your bedtime 15 minutes earlier every day until you get to the time you want to get up at. Do this for a week and you'll be getting up almost two hours earlier by the end of the week. Getting up early won't happen if you don't sleep good. If you have an AC, Set the thermostat between 60 and 67 degrees Fahrenheit. Studies show that a cool but not cold room helps you sleep much deeper. Then, make your room dark. Light leaking in will mess with your body's internal sleep clock that regulates your sleep cycle. By keeping it dark, you'll make sure you sleep much better. Do you spend time on your phone before going to bed? Don't feel bad, most people do. But did you know that your screen emits blue light which kills a natural hormone that helps you sleep? It's true. It's called melatonin. Try reading a book instead. Not only will it help you become smarter, but it'll help you fall asleep much, much faster. Once you set your alarm, make sure you keep it away from your bed. This will force you to get up in order to shut it off once it rings. And getting up is half the battle. One of the best ways to get up early is to find an accountability partner. Here's how it works. You set an agreed time to get out of bed. Once your alarm goes off, the first person to call their partner wins. Yeah. And if your partner sleeps in or doesn't answer the phone, he or she has to buy you a coffee. Thank you. This is the most important step. Finding a good reason to get up at 5 a.m. in the morning not only makes it possible, it makes it necessary. You might want to wake up earlier so that you can journal, meditate, or just have some silence before the kids get up. Maybe you want to chase your dreams and work on a side hustle or a new business idea before work, or go on a run to kickstart your body before the day begins. No matter what it is, find your why and write it down because without a why, your brain will always default to sleeping in. It works. And while I can't say that waking up at 5 a.m. is the magic pill for success, riches, and perfect health, it is certainly gonna provide an opportunity to be happier, healthier, and more productive.